Hello everyone, welcome to The Swapper, a very atmospheric puzzle platformer. Okay, before I begin I want to mention something very quickly, and that's that I, there's a significant chance I'm not actually going to really enjoy the game. I, and I'm saying that because I don't really, okay, I don't really like puzzle games, and I don't really like platformers. And this is a platforming puzzle game. So you can see why that would be a bad combination. Like, um, Vessel, for example, is a game that I played through a while ago, part of it anyway, and I stopped playing it because even though I thought it was a good game, I just didn't really connect with it. And that was also a puzzle platformer. Antichamber is another game that isn't a platformer, but is a puzzle game, and that's one of the few puzzle games I've actually enjoyed. So, it's a puzzle platformer which I don't usually like, but in a case like Antichamber, I do like it and I like atmospheric games, and this game is extraordinarily atmospheric. So, maybe I'll like it? Maybe I won't? I'm not sure, I... It just might not really mesh well with me. But regardless of what happens, one thing I can guarantee is that I'm really going to appreciate just how atmospheric and dark and creepy this game is. I haven't even started it yet, and I already can tell I'm going to love at least some elements of it, namely probably the sound and the graphics. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the gameplay, but I'm definitely going to like those two things. And I can tell that because, well, it has amazing and <laughs> incredibly depressing atmospheric music in the menu. And also, this game features probably the most ridiculously beautiful menus I have ever seen. Watch. Observe. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. You press options. Look, I mean, look. You switch. Okay, you mouse over these things. They all make differently pitched noises. It's a, it's like you're pinging some atmospheric noise somewhere deep down, and it's resonating up and down and up and down. It lights up when you mouse over options, and then you click it, and it starts to. It starts to fade away and blur all at the same time. It's it's so fucking beautiful. Normally menus are just functional, you know? But this one goes the extra step. And the fact that the game developer actually put this much detail into just the menu system to make it utterly beautiful and responsive and interactive. When you mouse over everything, everything makes a different pitch. It's like you're making music. That is... Kudos. I'm gonna give the clap to the game developer right now. Haven't even played your game yet, and I fucking love it. So, yeah, uh, let's begin. Okay, here we go. 
And if I remember right, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there's something very interesting about the art style in this game. I think... I think the developers used, like, real-world objects, like, the actually physically made sets, and then I guess I'm assuming took pictures of them. I think... I hope I'm not thinking of a different game. I think they did. I'm not sure what they made them out of. But the graphic style does definitely look different than I've ever seen before in a game. There's just something about it. Right now, I'm just appreciating the sound design. Excellent foot footstep sounds. You can hear the wind. Fuck, I'm already depressed. This is really depressing. You just hear my footsteps, lonely and echoing. Nothing else except the blowing wind. I'm presumably alone. Fuck. Alright. And look at the way the light interacts with the objects. I wonder... I'm really curious how they did this art style, because you can see the light isn't interacting with this object as if it was just a 2D image. It's interacting with it as if it's 3D, but is it actually 3D? I can't tell. But if it's not 3D, then how the hell does the light interact with it like that? Some sort of bump mapping sort of thing? Uh, I don't know. W to jump, hold W to jump higher. Hup, 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 hup. Oh my god, it's even more depressing. Okay, it doesn't help that I'm kind of just depressed on my own, but this game's making it extra depressing. Listen, like, you can hear that echoing footstep. Hold on, come back, where, where was that sound? How did I get it? There, that one. It's like it's echoing in a massive, massive chamber and there's no one to hear it. Move the mouse to look around. I've already been doing that, but thank you. God, this game is so beautiful. God, I really hope that the gameplay doesn't turn me off. I'm going to be so sad if it does. Because I love so much about this game already. Yeah, I really would like to see a behind the scenes of how they did this art style. Something about it that just looks strange. In a good way, in a very unique way. I've never seen anything like it before. Okay, what the hell is this? Alright, it's a beam of light that makes noise when I get inside of it. Hmm. Press E to call the lift. Okay, well if E calls the lift, then does using E on this do anything? Nope. Hmm. I can't believe how incredibly smooth everything in this game is. It's not just the menu that's smooth. I mean, look at this. It's so beautiful. Ah. Oh. But even like this little icon that's flashing, that you need to press E on, even that is beautiful. Look at it. It's fading, it's pulsing, it's getting bigger and smaller. Ugh. Oh. So 
Site 24. Oh, and there's Site 25 up there. Hmm. God, this game has good sound design. Okay, where that? Theseus Excavation Site 24 on Planet Cori 5. All off-world transport via home teleport at base of installation. All finds property of the Sisyphus Project. All finds property of the Sisyphus Project. Hmm. Hold Q to display the map. Even the map screen is incredibly slick. Hatch. Alright, well the red dot is obviously where I am, right? Yes. Got a couple unexplored hatches. What is that? Hmm. Don't think I can reach it, can I? Nope. Doors, teleport. Mysterious device. Huh. Is this where the swapping is going to happen? God, look at the fucking attention to detail. Ah. Look at all the layers of rocks layered on top of each other. You can see them shifting when you move the view. Look, even these, I guess, boxes that are... Yeah, these even these boxes in the background. Between this box and that box, they're a different layer. Look at them. They're slightly moving. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. I really, really want to like the gameplay of this game. I hope I do. I really hope I do. Hmm, what is this? Looks like a storage room. Uh... Try holding and releasing right mouse button in an open space. What the hell did I just grab? Oh, it looks like I can use the uh, space bar. I don't have to press up. I'm assuming they're the same thing. Yes, they are. Okay, that's much more natural. Okay, right mouse button. Oh, this is where the cloning starts. Well, hi. So, um, this is awkward. <laughs> this is really creepy. I just absorb them? I just killed them. I just killed me. That's unsettling. Can I, like, step on my head? 
How the hell did that work? That, that's not gonna work. Because I control them both at the exact same time. Huh. Alright, well it's gonna be interesting to learn how to use this. Okay, so can I do it any... No, it has to be in line of sight. So, I can just do this? Ah! Okay. Gotcha. Make physical contact with clones to reclaim them. Reclaiming them! I guess I'll do... Oh, that's gonna... Well, I guess that'll work. Yes, it does. Four clones can exist at the same time. God damn, this game is beautiful. Ah, and I see we're about to test that out. Oh, that's what this is. It reclaims all of your clones. What the heck is this? Memory terminal. Uh, log 1, security memo from Cori 5 Excavation Site 24 to uh, Theseus Xeno Technology Research. Uh, listen, we're grateful, but to be frank, half my team refused to be in the same room as one of these swapper devices. I hardly envisage their use becoming widespread enough to justify the security precautions you've had installed down here. Oh, is that what the, I just stepped through? Is that a security device? I suppose that makes sense. Press F to toggle. Toggle what? Oh, I guess I can just look through all of my memory logs. Okay. Cool. I mean, look, even even opening the freaking memory log looks beautiful. Look at it. It fades in. It's got this nice, like, distorted background. And when you click on it, everything just smoothly types in. It's amazing. Uh, this is hands down one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. Okay, so what is that what is that thing that's falling? Is that the gun? It is the gun, isn't it? That's really creepy. I, I'm literally making myself and killing myself. Radio uplink available. Broadcast location. Mind Science Laboratory, Space Station Theseus. What you're telling me isn't possible. <laughs> Tell me who I just ejected into space. The hell was that? I just got chills. Tell me who I just ejected into space. Was the beginning of this game a person being sent out in an escape pod, which was me, to here? And I noticed, it looked like he was beating at the the window, as if he didn't want to go. So, what the hell just happened? Am I a clone? Wouldn't that be funny? Maybe I'm a clone. What's the difference between the clones and me, anyway? What's the difference between you and me? Who the hell's to say I'm not a clone of someone else? Teleport. <laughs> 
looks awfully dark in here. What is that? Swapper core. Create a clone, swap to it using left mouse button. Oh, okay, so you don't just make clones. I wasn't swapping before. I guess that makes sense, because nothing about it was swapping. You make clones, and you can swap. Wait, I, I can swap, which... Holy shit, that just reinforces my idea that this is really creepy. Uh, I, um... Uh, this is really unsettling. I just cloned myself, swapped to the other person, and then I just killed my old self. Yeah. By me, I think it just died. Clones can't be created inside blue light. Oh, <laughs> should I ask why? What's so special about blue light? Also, I'd just like to point out again that this game is incredibly beautiful. Look at the lighting of this. Look at the way it's pulsing left to right. Oh my god. Alright, so I'll leave myself here. And do this. Switch to you, and done. What the heck are these things? Okay, they have lights on them. They look kind of like boxes, but the lights kind of look more like some sort of a map. Or some sort of a node system. I can't use them. Red light blocks swapper rays. Okay, so blue light means you can't make any clones. Red light means you can't swap to anything that's inside of it. So, for example, I can do this, but I can't switch to it, right? Okay. Pew, pew, pew! God, the lighting is so good. I'm just getting a feel for the movement here. Hmm. Okay. So. I can do this. So, uh, and you fell. Good job, you stupid clone. Okay, so I can do that, and I can do that, and then I can do that. Log 2, Site 24, internal message. Sam, I need a security orb. I have been planet side for weeks. I cannot get clearance back to Theseus. Help me out. Kim, I can't. I want to see my husband as, as much as you do yours. I've been planet side for weeks. I cannot get clearance back to Theseus. Help me out. Okay, didn't I land on a planet? So I think that's where I'm at right now, right? I'm Planetside. And apparently there's high security here. Okay. Does she find 
I came here in is fried. I have a rescue team on the way. They'll be here in a day's time. Why not? There must be something we can... A rescue team. Okay, what went wrong? I don't think it's a stretch to say that whatever went wrong probably has a connection to the swapper or cloning technology. Alright, looks like we have some sort of a space mushroom here. the lighting. I really want to know how they did the graphics for this game. Are they a bunch of 2D, like, are these a bunch of 2D layers with some sort of, like, bump mapping on them to make the lighting look, you know, interactive? Or is it actually 3D? It doesn't look 3D. I don't think it is, at least not completely. Whoa, what are these? Okay, we've got Dig Site B, Long Distance Teleport Machine, something to do with orbs, and an unexplored hatch. Well, whatever that is, it looks to be closed off. <clears throat> Is it just me, or does that look like a giant jaw that's going to eat me as soon as I get inside of it? It doesn't look very welcoming. Teleport offline. One more encryption orb is required to access the teleport activation console. Okay. So I need an encryption orb. Is that what they were talking about here? I need a security orb. Alright, so apparently you need encryption orbs to get back to... Theseus? Alright, gotta find one. Log 3, message to quarantine. Quarantine? There's a quarantine? Okay, from... Uh, Cory 5 Excavation Site 24 to Theseus Quarantine. We need a faster turnaround down here. The last shaft was... Uh, the, sorry, the last shift was supposed to go home six hours ago. Instead, you've got them shipping back more rock samples. They're tired. Please advise. Quarantine. I was just thinking... This technology would be incredibly abusable, wouldn't it? For things like labor, for example? Clone your labor force! Quarantine. What would they need to quarantine people from? I keep thinking of the movie Moon. You can't make me do that. I won't do it. Alright, looks like that's a security orb. Alright, so I need to do this. And I just killed another one of the copies of myself. Not sure if I'm ever going to get used to that. It just feels wrong. Monaghan Orb acquired. What the hell's. Okay, I wasn't able to finish reading that. I said Monaghan Orb and then something. The hell just happened? Is this the security orb? The encryption orb?
Okay. Yeah, apparently that was it. Welp, I'm going home. This is the end of the game. Press E to teleport back to Space Station Theseus. Okay. Either I'm going to go there, but there's still more to do, or something's going to go wrong, because that can't be the end of it. Teleport offline. Okay. So, am I actually on Theseus? And if I am, then where do I need to go next? Holy shit, hangar. Yeah, this is Theseus. And this place looks freaking massive. Oh my god. Welcome to Space Station in Theseus. Yeah, I mean, how long has it been since this place was active? Because everything looks like it's just dusty and dead and lifeless. I mean, it feels like it's been 50 fucking years or something. The hell happened here? Uh... Hi? The hell? What is it that's talking to me? Is it this rock? Okay, that's strange. Oh my god. The lighting in this game just makes me want to cry. It's so good. What's that say? Sec oh, Sector 1 Public? Okay, it looks like another one of those rocks. Is this, is this one going to talk to me too? Mysterious rock sample. The limits of language are the limits of knowledge. Our name was not their knowledge. They thought, they thought of us as watchers. What? Hold on, let me read that again. The limits of... The limits of language are the limits of knowledge. Our name was not their knowledge. They thought of us as watchers. I don't know what that means. And goddamn, even this freaking little bit of text that shows up from this talking moon rock thing is incredibly stylish. Look at it. I'm staring at my screen, so I'm going to sound kind of distant. But look at it. It's blue and red. It's like that color shift sort of thing going on. It's all staticky. Oh, this game is beautiful. Alright, so the limits of knowledge and language are the same thing. Our name was not their knowledge. I don't know what that means. They thought of us as watchers. Hmm. Grab objects by facing them and holding S. Oh, I had no idea I could grab stuff. Good to know. Hmm. 
All right, looks like we have a bunch of stuff here. Offsite quarantine procedures engaged. Uh, shit. Uh, apparently, I've been quarantined. Welp. This ship is very strange looking. One more encryption orb is required to access this console. Alright, well there's a ton of places I could go. Four to be exact, or maybe two. Yes, make that two. Or, wait, no, never mind, three. Alright, start from the top down. The hell? The world is the limit of thought. The limit of thought is the chain of hearers like me. I cannot speak if they cannot listen. Okay, so the world is only limited by thought. So, what, you can do anything if you put your mind to it, or something? The limit of thought is the chain of hearers like me. Hearers. What are they hearing? I cannot speak if they cannot listen. I have no idea what this means. What is where? How is where? Does where tick? What? We know only of the minds in our chain. You choose your chain in a dimension we do not know. Okay, well I'm gathering two things from this. There appears to be some sort of alien intelligence, possibly linked to the quarantine and all the issues that have been happening or happened, whatever the hell's happened, obviously stuff has gone wrong. Horribly wrong. That's one thing. Um, the other thing is that apparently they cannot read my mind. They can only, they only know the minds in our chain, and your chain is in a dimension we do not know. So apparently they're unable to read my mind. Green space couches. Come on, friends, everyone take a seat. Ah, lovely. But I'm sorry to inform you that all of you are going to die right about now. Alright, there's the other orb. See, what I really like, the funny thing is, what I'm really liking about this game is the atmosphere, the interesting story, the incredible graphics and sound, and all of that. You know, I just want to be a part of the world. But I can already feel that I don't really care about solving these puzzles. I only care about them insofar as they prevent me from continuing in the game and exploring the parts I do like. So I'm already feeling that. I'm really hoping that the puzzles don't get too hard, because I don't really want to solve the puzzles. I'm just doing them. Just to continue. Alright. Uh, how am I going to do this? Is there another box I can drag? No, there is not. And 
that case, I think... Maybe I need to block the door with <laughs> one of these guys. Or not block the door, but just put him in between. Okay, and we're in business. Monaghan Org, check the navigator, some new accessible consoles. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, Monaghan Orb acquired, and then you can look at this to find out where you can now go. But hold on, there's still a couple places I have not been, such as here. There's another one? It seems suspiciously easy to get. Oh, wait, blue light, that's right. Hmm. So let's see. <sighs> Excuse me. So, I can do that. This means I can't create clones in blue, but I believe I can swap, right? Yes, I can. Okay. Log number four, message to site 24 from Theseus Quarantine to Cory 5 Excavation Site 24. The Chief of Quarantine understands the pressure this puts you under, but stresses that these rock samples are of unparalleled scientific interest. As such, we must request that you continue to prioritize sample teleport over personnel. Okay, so they've found something very important in the rock samples. The, rock sa the same rock samples that are talking to me. The same rock samples that are called the Watchers. And apparently they're transporting so much of them that they're actually not even able to transport personnel, at least not as much as they were before. What the hell are these rock samples? <laughs> you know what this actually reminds me of? These messages? These remind me of Sphere. Both the book and the movie. But, I guess the good thing is, so far the Watcher doesn't seem to be pissed off. So, that's good. Alright, let's go. Quarantine disengaged. Oh, God, I'm yawning again. Oh, sorry, it's kind of late at night. Cargo, quarters, uh, waste management, okay. Attention, hull breach in sector one. Emergency personnel to waste management. Something tells me there's no emergency personnel to actually respond to that. Huh. Memory terminal, uh, terminal hatch, hatch, hatch. Three of six orbs. Oh my god, look at all the layers. Just look at the ceiling. One, I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five. There's at least five layers up there. What the heck is this thing? It doesn't look so much like a box as it does a gigantic stone. Ooh. 
Whoops. I just broke all of the everyone's legs. Whoopsie. I suppose I need to do this. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, is it the distance or is there just like poisonous gas down there? I know there's supposed to be a hole breach somewhere, but I am wearing a suit, so I'm not I'm thinking that shouldn't be a problem. I can't go through here, can I? Nope. Okay, there we go. Log 5, cargo overview, essential supplies. Food, 4 tons, that's 197 days at full crew complement. Water, 3,000 liters, emergency fluids in storage. 7,000 liters in recirculation. Miscellaneous research equipment, 201 items registered. Spare parts, 5,967 items registered. Xeno samples and fines. 432 items registered. Alright, so there at least was tons of food. And tons of water. Um. What the fuck was that? What's going on down there? Okay, I, that body just fell down from up there, and now it's like twitching around? That's really disturbing. Oh, that's what that gas leak thing is. That's the suit, like, breaching. Or the air tank breaching. Ugh. That is really fucking disturbing. I just made a clone of myself and watched it crumple in front of me and die. Greenhouse up above. Three more encryption orbs are required to access this console. I shit, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, clone. Alright, well I can't actually see up there. Well, that didn't work. But I actually think that might have worked in the end. But how about I come back to that later? Let's go here first. Alright, well we have tons of vegetation here. And another one of these rock samples. I am the only one that believes in the other dimension. I call it space. One moves through space. Yes? How? I am the only one that believes in the other dimension. Wait, so everything else, like all the other whatevers in the chain don't believe that I exist? I assume the other dimension is the one that I in inhabit. It's called space. How do you move through space? Wait, so they don't even have a concept of space? Huh.
That is really disturbing. I just used a trail of dead bodies to get up here. It worked, but it's still disturbing. Assuming there's nothing down here. Ouch. Unless... Maybe I do this. Oh, wait, I can't make any clones in the blue. Shit. Well, in that case, maybe what I do is this. Do, 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 do. Just keep biding my time, killing more and more clones. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. Now I just need to get out of here. Okay, it all opened up. We're good. Whoa, whoa. What the hell is that? Is that like a gigantic gear that's going to smash my face in? Oh, you can't sw Whoops. You can't swap through this, right? No, you can't. But I can swap through this. Whew. Now, how do I get up? I believe I need one more. And what do you know, there's one more place to go. That's right, I'm creating clones of myself and killing them just to save a couple seconds. Because I'm that kind of a person. Alright, so I believe the way to get up here... Well, let me get rid of this clone first is to do this. Bingo! This place is beautiful.
Log number six, emergency evac one. A uh, few areas of the station remain habitable. The cargo bay in sector one has everything we need. Food and water. Greenhouse access, but it may not be safe for long. No one knows what's causing this. Sam Cook. Hmm. But it may not be safe for long. No one knows what's causing this. Alright, so whatever the hell has been happening or happened has an unknown cause, at least at the time that that message was created. Hmm. Uh, I don't think turning that light off really does anything. Okay, what the hell do I do? <laughs> Let's see. Do this, maybe? Now, how's that gonna work? Yeah, what the hell is that gonna do? Wait a minute, I could do this. There we go, okay. Gotcha. Monogon orb required check, yep, yep, yep. Alright, now I can go here, but we still have to check out this. Oh, there's another orb in here. God, the lighting in this game is just amazing. It's so vibrant and dynamic. Alright, well, this stuff is... purple pinkish instead of red, but it appears to have the same effect uh, as red. Alright, how do we do this? It's probably not a good... <laughs> It's probably not a good idea to play puzzle, puzzle games late at night. Because that's when your brain stops working as well. But, oh well. Oh, seriously, I can't stop yawning. Jesus. Oh, come on. Oh. How the hell? I mean, I don't seem to need it, but I want it. I don't see what this is going to accomplish, and the answer is, well, nothing. It's not going to accomplish anything. I 
Alright, what if I do this? Could that actually work? No. Well, actually, actually, wait a minute. Holy shit, that's actually going to work. Well, I'll be damned. No idea what the hell that is. But I just did something. Huh. Okay, those look very fast. Those look disturbingly fast. Oh, shit. Not good. Or, well, I suppose I could do this. The hell is this taking me? Okay. It looks like there's just a massive chamber behind here. Let's, let's write this again. Look, look at all this behind here. It just looks like huge storage, I think. What the hell was that, and why was her head, like, bending all around as if space-time was warping? Interesting. Long-distance teleport machine. Huh. Okay, well, on that note, I actually think I'm going to end this episode here. There appears to be no sort of a custom save system, so I guess I'm good to go. Yeah, so, so far, this is one of the most ridiculously beautiful, atmospheric, and amazing-sounding games I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I can give those elements of it kudos enough. And the menu! Oh my god! It's so beautiful. Oh. The only thing I don't like about it, and I'm not sure if I consider this a flaw or just a taste thing, I don't really care for the puzzles. I mean, I don't really care for the fact that it actually even has puzzles. I just, personally, I feel like I'm just doing them just... <clears throat> I feel like I'm just doing them just to see what happens next. You know, they're just an obstacle in the way of me enjoying the game. But, sorry, there's something stuck in my throat. <coughs> oh, there we go. So yeah, personally, I view them as just an obstacle. Which I suspect is just a taste thing. 
But the thing is, unlike Vessel, this game is unique enough and atmospheric enough and interesting enough that I think I could probably continue to play the game and get past the puzzles, and I think I would find everything else in the game interesting enough that I think I'd be willing to do the puzzles. I mean, we'll see if I continue to feel that way, but so far I definitely feel that way, because this game is really fucking good. So yeah, hopefully I will continue to enjoy this until the end. I really want to, even though I already know that I'm not really enjoying the puzzles. And I hope you have enjoyed... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.